So it's the first Light Awards here today. You've been presenting the best documentary, haven't you, Art? Tell me, what do you think it is that makes a good documentary stand out? Oh, I mean, it's, it's got to be something that affects you. Affects you, informs you, and hopefully leaves you just that little bit better at the end of it. And this is one of them. This is a great, I mean, it's, it, this man is an extraordinary example of, of what, what can be achieved in one lifetime. Tell me a little bit about the film. Uh, yeah, well, it's Echoes of Substance Abuse. Um, basically, we were working with a group of young people from a rough estate in Liverpool, and we just told them story. We got them to film other people's stories, like so my story and my involvement with drugs, um, other people who've got really tragic endings to do with themselves and family members and stuff. And I think uh, a lot of it really at home with the young people, and you know, because they grow up around that stuff as well, and you know, a lot of them could go down that path. And I think seeing it first and and documenting it and being able able to make sense of it all and put it onto film, I think that really educated them and I think they'll come out better off for making the, the project and anybody who sees it will also. And what difference has First Light made to you guys in making this film? I think First Light's massive, you know, it gives us an opportunity to offer young people um, an avenue into film. You know, which otherwise there's no way they'd have had. You know, if I took you to the estate where we did the project, you know, it's, it's a bit run down and stuff, and, and the young people haven't got a lot to do. Um, so, it, you know, it's, it's massive, uh, this fund, and it's vital, I'd say, um, to get people, young people's interest in making film and knowing that they've got the possibility to do it. Yeah, it's massive. Oh, what's it meant for you today to be here to present the award to these guys? Well, this is, this is you know, in something as glamorous as this, to, to celebrate something as unglamorous as substance abuse is a wonderful thing to do. But what's important is to remember that, you know, I've been here at, on huge occasions when there are just the most amazing premieres that are held here. And this is just as important for a lot of children sitting in that, you know, in this wonderful theatre today. They saw their work up on the, on the screen of the Empire. I mean, sorry, the Odeon at Leicester Square, that's big for them, you know, and, it's, and, it's, and we should be just sort of so grateful that, you know, that, uh, I mean, I'm 60, it means that I, I probably can work him when I'm 80, because there's going to be one of these lads who's going to be writing it or directing it. Talking about what you're doing, what can we look forward to seeing you in next? Oh, you can, you can see me doing um, another series of Borgia. Yeah. And, and will there be more intrigue? Give us a little taster. Oh, I can't possibly tell you that. Couldn't possibly. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Art.